Welcome to BSW's Tech Dive. Tech, tech Dive. The birds, the ship. The show goes technically deep into products you care about. <laughs> the new, the old, the newish. So put on your gear, close up the hatch, and prepare to dive, dive. The birds, the ship. And now, here's John. Welcome to this edition of BSW Tech Dive. I am John Lynch, Director of Business Development for Broadcast Supply Worldwide or BSWUSA.com. Our topic is Access NX, a great addition in the portable or remote broadcasting field from a company that's been at the cutting edge leading the world in remote broadcast equipment since before I got into radio, and that was way back in another century. My guest is Chris Crump from Comrex, and Chris, Access NX as the portable unit is just the latest iteration from what your company has been doing for a bunch of decades. Well, luckily, I mean, we're leveraging all the technology that we've been developing since 1961 uh, in a product that we we actually started the ship in 2006, and that was the first Access Portable. And when we came out with that product, we really kind of hit that one out of the park. So Access and X Portable, um, we tried to do the exact same thing, bringing all of that great technology we've been developing since 2005, 2006 to the forefront in this new product, which features some really nice new features uh, that people that are, will be familiar with, but they'll really appreciate the new flexibility and form factor of one of the ones that stood out to me from day one between the Access and now the Access NX. We have two XLR inputs on the NX. That's huge. It is, and it's very nice because a lot of people are using these for sports commentary where they have an announcer and a play-by-play -play host. Uh, instead of having um, uh, the previous unit have one mic or line level input so you can plug a mic in and a pair of headphones and use it by itself but if you needed to have someone sitting next to you doing color um, having that extra mixer was kind of um, a little bit cumbersome especially in a scorer's table so the design is basically uh, set up for really tight cramped spaces in a press box and so that your mixer comes down but it also gives you the chance to have another mic and line level input on the right hand side with its own volume and uh, gain control for the mic. So it's a nice little feature. You also have the flexibility of adding another four channel mixer uh, uh, add-on option. So you have a total of six micro line level inputs and headphone outputs. So the beauty of the Access NX, it's basically a uh, professional audio codec. Uh, the best in the business it's a headphone amp it's a mixer all built into one and that's why you see them in press boxes at conventions at um, remotes all over the planet used on a daily basis and one of the key things you mentioned before which goes back to my days as a sportscaster of high school events and it's an absolute requirement because you have that much space to work with <laughs> in a press box facility like in a high school or a small college facility so you had to really make that compact just so it could be usable in the field yeah for as much as people love the access portable and the optional mixer uh, one of the concerns was the fact that the mixer was going off to the side and you'd have to turn the unit sideways in order to fit in that little space you have on a scorer's table so this really accommodates that request that we had from a lot of users to be able to have a mic on each side, uh, a mic input on each side, headphones on each side. So it's really kind of um, filling a, a, a major requirement for the redesign of the product. Now, you're going out to do an event with the Access NX. What are you going to be transmitting to in order to receive the signal? Well, you have a lot of options, uh, including good old fashioned pots, but if you've ever tried to get a POTS line and get it to work correctly, you probably have found out that it's not really a POTS line, but the Access NX will do POTS, but most importantly, it's leveraging all of the IP technologies that are out there. So you can plug it into broadband Ethernet, you can plug it into DSL, you can use Wi-Fi, so you can do that remote at Starbucks or even do your show at Starbucks and use their free Wi-Fi, uh, but it also uses 4G LTE, it's 5G LTE or 5G capable. Um, 
anything that's IP, including satellite, and uh, we've actually used it on Inmarsat links, Vsat links, and to be honest, I'm actually pretty excited about Elon Musk's Starlink. I want to be the first uh, Kodak to be able to do a Starlink broadcast. That would be pretty cool. Well, and you're kind of an outer space junkie anyway, so that's perfect. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> now, you mentioned, you know, it sounds, and when I first heard this back in another century, I thought, well, that's a really highly technical term. I wonder what POTS stands for. And then I find out later, plain old telephone service, which most people don't have anymore, which also shows yours and my, shall we say, experience in the industry. <laughs> but uh, sure. but hey, the point there's is... A yeah. There are some people that are still using it. I was right. talking to somebody the mm -hmm. other day, and they actually still have an equalized line that they use. So... I'm like, hey, as long as you've got it and it's tariffed, why not? And as long as they haven't been notified that, okay, it's going away in a month and a half or something like that, because we're still getting calls like that from other customers that, hey, oh, my lines are going away, I got to do something else. Hey, we have that solution. But nice and compact, easy. By the way, just a tip from an old sportscaster. You don't check your access NX at the airport. You carry it on with you. Never let it out of your sight. You keep the Axis NX in a small case and your headset. You're good to go no matter where you're going. Plus, you don't have to pay the extra baggage fee. The, uh, the beauty of IP is that if you've got a 4G LTE modem or a Wi-Fi modem, you could be at the airport if your plane is delayed or your flight's been canceled. You could do your show at the gate the next morning. And I've had uh, customers that have done that before. and Or they've had a, um, like... Uh, a major broadcaster called them and say, hey, could you call our studio? And it's like, well, I'm in an airport. Oh, but I have my access with me. And they just dial in and they're doing a, a show being listened to people all over the world. And you've got the brand new dual connect modem, which will connect you both with AT&T and Verizon. So you've got failover or dual sensing, sending, whatever you need. Yeah, there are a couple of really important aspects of our access BrickLink uh, technology. Uh, one of those is our switchboard, which is a free service that we provide um, for our customers. Basically, it allows the devices to see each other once they're connected to the Internet. It's almost like um, instant messenger for your IP audio codec. Once it's online, you can see all the others in your group. It appears as a little icon you can select and connect. The other important aspect of that is Switchboard also manages whether or not you're going to make a crosslock connection. And crosslock VPN is our reliability layer, which basically is doing um, a lot of stuff to make sure that your audio stays intact, even managing multiple data networks. So you could actually use a Wi-Fi and a 4G LTE or a two different 4G LTE modems and an Ethernet. It will basically aggregate all those data connections together and utilize them all to make it even more reliable than just using um, a standard uh, Comrex brick connection. That's Access Annex, the portable unit for today's remote broadcasting from Comrex Corporation. With Chris Crump, I'm John Lynch. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Tech Dive. Baby, turn